what is up Gemini welcome to your general timeless reading these are timeless so whenever you see this is when it's most meant for you these are also general so take what resonates leave the rest if you want a free 15 minute reading check out my patreon channel that's where I do monthly readings energy shift readings moon cycle readings and weekly patreon only videos I have that promo going to the end of September so check that out I also have 20% off all my services on my website uh, so go ahead check that out the promo codes up on that website as well for you and subscribe to my email list if you want flash sale stuff email to youtube because i send those out a lot and that's just exclusively to people who are part of the email list um other than that like share subscribe give this video a thumbs up it helps the channel grow and i greatly appreciate it and you'll get to see you when i post when i go live if you hit that little notification bell so gemini let's get into it if i'm moving a little awkwardly or like a robot it's because i had a car accident and i'm just a little sore so just bear with me <laughs> okay somebody uh got got the back end of my car the other day so gemini let's see what's going on with you show me mostly see they show me whale spirit from the animal spirit oracle that's trust in the great mystery it's also indicative of clear audience to me as a reader so if your ears ring a lot or if you literally have clear audience where you hear things like i'll i'll hear actual words um in my channel um if that's something that you experience or, or you're about to be experiencing that's clear audience coming in for you show me what i mostly need to see for gemini sun moon rising venus and jupiter the magician and the hierophant as her breaking away, breaking away. Uh, this feels like breaking contracts. Yep, and then we have the chariot, freaking A, followed by temperance, followed by strength. You have five majors, five majors back to back. That's intense. Okay, so major arcana are universal energies, minor arcana are day to day activities. Your first card out is the magician, it's also number one in tarot. Um, this is indicative to me as a reader, as your personal power. It's about realizing that I have everything I need to cultivate the life, the reality that I most desire, right? Then we have the Hierophant. The Hierophant is indicative of institutions, religions, marriages, contracts. In reverse, especially next to the Magician, it speaks to breaking away from old contracts for the highest good of your personal power, of the person you most want to be. So let's say that you're in a, we'll just use... I don't know, you're in a contract with a family member and this family member is very overbearing. And you're like, you know what? I'm actually going to cut ties with this family member. I don't want to have you in my life anymore. That's for my highest good. I know a little extreme, but just saying, okay? And this contract could be a relationship. This could be a job. This could be a friendship. It's just cutting ties with, it could even be a version of yourself. I no longer want to act or be, um or communicate in this way or think or perceive things in this manner that's cutting a form of a contract away a contract with self a contract with a form or a mold you have taken on you're releasing it because now you're realizing your personal power you're realizing what you can truly embody that's going to serve you to your highest good and let you cultivate the life you most desire and that's what's going to help you move forward on your path but underneath it all is this incredible amount of healing because temperance is moderation but it's also angels ancestors and guides for me as a reader it's connecting with the higher power it's connecting with your source energy it's also connecting with your angels ancestors and guides let's see what else we got for gemini is that itchy what do we have for gemini sun moon rising six of wands yeah so this is giving you that sense of uh recognition oh sense of recognition and self um and also allowing you to come out of this struggle victorious because the six of wands is a card of victory it's also this card of recognition it's someone who just came out of battle and they're being recognized for all the hard work and the trials and tribulations they had to overcome to get to where they are gemini i just heard forgiveness i feel like okay i feel like this is one of those um times in life where you just kind of like I never really got an apology from you. I know I'm never going to get an apology for you, but I forgive you. And I forgive you because I'm complete in myself. I'm whole in myself. And I love all of myself. And I deserve a life of love and peace and happiness. And I'm going to give that to me. And I'm going to hold space for you. And I hope that one day you find the kind of feeling that I found in myself to give myself this reality. 
it feels like that and that's a very higher consciousness perspective it's it's releasing things of a lower frequency of a lower consciousness the hierophant upright is extremely high consciousness energy and you're realizing that in the past you were probably working from a lower vibration you're no longer doing that and that's why you're achieving this state of victory very nice any other messages for gemini yep death in reverse yeah you're going through a rebirth going through an awakening and there's the world bottom of the deck you're getting all these major arcana i'm not shocked whatsoever the collective is basically like hey let me just come out of this freaking dark night of the soul and just re be reborn everybody's going through it myself included so it's not going to be uh strange at all if you feel the urge to move or break friendships or end relationships or get away from your family or want to start a business or just make these very very large shifts in your life right now it's because we've been going through a lot of healing very very large aspects of our shadow and integrating them into ourselves to create the life we most want the world right and underneath the world <laughs> was the ace of swords in reverse the realization that the old cycle was not honoring your most authentic self right love it i love it okay let's do retrospective tarot for you all the tarot decks i use are linked down below in the description box. Well, they're actually listed. They're not linked because if I did links, that description box would be very, very long. But I did tell you where I got them from. I did what I could. Okay, let's look at this magician for Gemini, please, spirit. This is Gemini Virgo energy with the magician. Woo, got it. Knight of Swords, more Gemini energy. This feels like I don't even got to waste my breath talking about it. <laughs> That's really what this Knight of Swords feels like. I don't got to explain myself to you. <laughs> and it's not in like this rude way either. It's just kind of like, I'm going to pick and choose my battles. <laughs> and this really isn't worth my energy. <laughs> That's kind of what it feels like. It really does. Knight of Swords. It feels like people trying to push your buttons right now. And you're just like, mm, nope, not, I don't really need to engage in this. And it's probably the people you're walking away from. Yep, there's lovers in reverse and the ten of cups in reverse. I'm done. Yeah, I'm done fighting with you. I don't, I don't need to fight with the page of cups in reverse. You're emotionally, you're shutting down to these people, which tells me that there's probably still trauma or hurt involved with this. So just be mindful of that, because even though you're stepping into your power, don't allow this energy to sit within you and fester, because it is going to be a low vibrational energy that's going to end up taking space. Knight of Swords, lovers in reverse, and the ten of cups in reverse. This could be the energies you're releasing. But if it is energy that you're walking away from and still holding on to in a sense, be honest with yourself if you're holding on to it because it's just going to take up space in a very important vessel that is you. That could be occupied by things that are of your highest good versus things that are just no longer necessary. Let's look at the Hierophant in reverse. Because the Ten of Cups, sorry to backtrack, the Ten of Cups speaks to uh, a lost love or something that you are very very emotionally invested in like family friends jobs a goal um, an endeavor of some sort that you really really craved and wanted for a very long time the lovers in reverse does not have to always mean relationships but next to ten of cups it usually does but it can also speak to decisions and recognizing that some decisions that were made towards the ten of cups might have been impulsive with the knight of swords and it's recognizing that and stepping into your personal power and saying i'm no longer going to give energy to this to these people, this person, or the situation that was not serving me, right? So Hierophant in reverse. Let's see what's going on here. Because this is the contract that's being broke. Or the new rule book, right? Why is the Hierophant in reverse here? Nine of Cups in reverse. It wasn't even making you happy. It wasn't making you happy. It wasn't, it wasn't anything to do. Yeah. Whoa. And the five of pentacles, you're walking, it, you're just walking away from it because you want to be aligned. You want the two of cups. You want yourself to be balanced in your masculine and your feminine energy. With the nine of cups in reverse and the five of pentacles, that says to me that there is a sense of abandonment going on here of not being emotionally fulfilled by this connection at all. It's starting to feel like family, friends, or even romantic connection for some of you. It feels mostly like soul tribe. So family, friends, co-workers, um, things that are more platonic. With the Nine of Cups in reverse, it tells me that emotionally you weren't feeling fulfilled in this dynamic, that it wasn't re achieving your hope and wish fulfillment, 
that there was a there was a sense of lack going on, especially with the Five of Pentacles there. It could even speak to abandonment, loss, rejection. Uh, so just be mindful of that. And that's why that contract is ending. Let's look at the Six of Wands. Whoops. Big old stack fell on my lap. All right, then we have the World in Reverse. Yeah. Hmm. With the World in Reverse and the Six of Wands, it's almost like you're starting to see what life would be like if you were to end the cycle. And it's kind of like that's what's giving you the that ambition, that power to really, the confidence really to step away from this. Because I feel for some of you, it's family. And with death coming up next, that the Six of Wands does not represent the ending. The death represents the ending. But the Six of Wands recognizes you seeing the light at the end of the tunnel of, oh crap, if I really were to release this connection, this cycle with this person or these people, it would allow me to feel more confident and more, more empowered with myself. Hangman, yep, there's the in-between. Just validating for us that you have not yet reached the end. You're in between cycles right now, right? You're, you're kind of suspended in time here, waiting for the new cycle when you finally hire for in reverse again and this contract. Very nice. Let's look at death now. Nice death here. Well, that was quick. Yeah, because death's here because you still need to go through the process of mourning this loss. Three of Swords and the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups for me as a reader is the mourning card. It is the card of mourning, of crying over spilt milk, as a lot of readers like to call it. Um, I'm not a fan of that phrase, to be honest, for some reason. I don't know. It just, to me, it kind of seems like negating to someone's emotional state. That's just my opinion. I'm not trying to ever make somebody's feelings feel small. Um, but with death in reverse, it's this energy is like you just need to take the time to process this loss because it's not that you did not care about this person. You you cared very much about this connection, but that's why it created so much pain. And that's why it was so hard to finally come to the conclusion to actually end it and walk away. Right? But it was the right choice to make with justice on the bottom of the deck. So let's look at the world. Sorry, I know slamming it on the table for some people is a little too loud, but oh well. Let's look at the world. Eight of Cups in reverse. Ooh, Nine of Swords in the four. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. I see. I see. Ah, uh, look at this. I don't think this is you. I think as soon as you walk away, the world, somebody comes back. Eight of Cups, whether it's you or the other person, I kind of feel it's somebody else. But the Nine of Swords in reverse, because I feel like they're releasing their fears, their insecurities, their own anxieties, and they're like, wait, actually, I do want to fix this foundation. Four of Wands, because they're realizing, yep, <laughs> Seven of Swords in reverse, followed by Temperance, and the Knight of Pentacles. They're realizing their own self-sabotaging behavior. You, They're taking accountability for their actions. That's what's going on here. But that's what happens in very strong um, relationships, dynamics with other people, very strong soulmate connections, especially a lover's connection. If we're so on top of one another all the time, our energy becomes too intertwined, too intertwined that you can't differentiate between what's yours and what's mine, right? So if I take some time away from you and you take some time away from me, I can go basically recalibrate my energy, you can recalibrate yours. And I'm going to be able to recognize what's my toxic behavior. What are the things in our dynamic that I do that are not of our highest good? What are the things in our dynamic that you do that are not in our highest good? And vice versa, right? And that allows people to be aware of their ego, be aware. And the ego is your limiting beliefs, your fears, um, your abandonment, your rejection, the way you communicate that might shut people down, right? Things of that, your defensiveness, and everything I'm listening is literally aspects of my own shadow, right? And it's being very mindful and being very aware of that so you can change it and integrate it and realize these are things that are standing in the way of me having healthy relationships, connections with people, okay? So this is a very common, common, common theme right now because we have Mars in Libra, Mercury about to retrograde in Libra. Libra is a sign of partnerships. Um, Mars is also home in Aries. So... Aries is also the polarity of Libra. <laughs> so you're looking at self, 
Aries, Mars, Aries, you get what I'm saying? Okay. And then Mars is in Libra right now as I'm doing this reading. So Mars, which is ruled by the planet that rules self, is home, is right now transiting through the sign of partnership. So in order to look and fix our partnerships, we're going to be kind of pushed passion, Mars, ambition, fire, energy, right? To look at ourselves to fix our relationships. <laughs> it's kind of all makes sense. And then we have Mercury retrograding Libra, which is intellect, communication, perspectives, new perspectives, the hangman on dynamics with other people. Okay. So that's what I have for you, Gemini. I hope you guys liked this reading. Like, share, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. If you want 20% off uh, any of my services, check out my website now. Uh, while the promo is up, the promo code should be up on the website if you caught it while my promo is still going. And if you want a free 15 minute reading, check out my Patreon channel. I love you. I wish you the best. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.